Good morning Bella, how are you doing? I'm doing good, I'm just a little nervous about the English test. Why would you be nervous Bella? Have you studied? Yes, I stayed up all night studying and besides, I wanted to know how my brother date went with this new girl he met at the restaurant. Oh, so Sammy has a new date, who is this lovely girl he met? Miss Black I guess you don't know about your daughter meeting up with Sammy at the park. Wait, you mean to say you're, Sammy Bella? Are you saying Victoria had a date with your brother? Oh no, I let the cat out of the bag. Sammy is going to be mad with me if he find out I told you about his date with Victoria. Well, don't worry my lips are sealed. Now it explains why Victoria was so secretive before she left to meet this no-name boy at the park. Victoria, make sure she left before her dad and I woke up this morning. I will have a little talk with her when I get home. Bella, thank you for telling me. I was wrecking my brain trying to figure out who this mystery guy was. My husband and I was a little nervous about Victoria meeting a boy she met two days ago at the park. Miss Black are you disappointed that your daughter is dating my brother? No, I'm not. I'm just shocked to know that she felt the need to hide this from me and her father. Maybe she hid it from you because of his color. Victoria knows her dad and I doesn't care about skin color. Our main concern is that she find a young man who would be a gentleman to her and treat her with respect. I'm sure she had her reasons for not revealing this young boy to her father and I. I will have a talk with her after work today. Okay Bella, let's get ready for class. You have this big English test that you have to pass. I guess Miss Black. I guess. I see you still have that silly cap on. So, how did it go with Victoria? Mom, it went well. I think she likes me a lot. I would guess we'll be seeing each other again soon. Sammy, I'm glad she likes my handsome son. Did she tell her parents about you, and what did they say? Well, no mom, she didn't want them to know about me just yet. I mean, she didn't want them to know she's attractive to a white boy. But why Sammy, why would she hide you from her parents? Are she ashamed of you and don't want her parents to know you are a white boy? I don't think that's the case mom. She needs time to get to know me before she tells her parents about me. Okay, if you say so. Your dad is waiting to speak with you. Where's dad? He's in the living room watching television. Okay, I'll speak with him after I grab some breakfast. I'm on my way to the office, I'll see you later. I have a meeting with my boss. Call me if you need me. Sure mom. It's getting late, have a blessed day today. You do the same Sammy. Hey dad, mom said you wanted to see me before I head out to school. Yes son, I wanted to know how your date went to Victoria. Dad, like I told mom, I think Victoria likes the old boy and I'm pretty sure we are going to go on another date soon. It sounds like you really like her. Does her parents know about you, and are they okay with you being a white boy? She haven't told her parents about me yet. 
She says she wanted to make sure she likes me before telling them about me. Well Sammy, smart move on her part. Maybe you should go on a few more dates to see if you are a good match. I'm a little nervous dad, I pray and hope her parents don't reject me because of my skin color. If they are believers in God, it wouldn't matter, because they will be God-loving people. I guess you are right dad. I have to get going before I be late for class. Okay son, I'm going to finish watching the news, I'm off today, I'm going to take Mackie for a walk. Okay dad, enjoy your day and your walk with Mackie. See you later today. Okay, be careful. Well, hello Victoria, how was your day today? I had a great day at school. I made a hundred on my exams today and I'm so excited about that because I have studied for two weeks and it's paid off. That's good news, if you studied as hard as you did for your exams, you deserve to make a good grade. So, how did the date with your mystery boy go? He's a gentleman and I like him a whole lot and I would love to keep dating him and see where we go. Well, does this boy have a name? Mom I'm not ready to reveal anything about him yet. I just want to make sure he is the right boy for me. Could it be, the boy you are dating is a white boy and you are afraid to tell your dad and I that? Mom, how do you know he's white? Did God reveal my secret to you? Kinda, sorter. Let's just say a little birdie told me that you were dating Sammy my student brother. Wait mom, did Bella tell you? Victoria, it doesn't matter how I found out. I don't know what made you think you couldn't tell me. Mom, I was going to tell you and Dad, it's just I never dated a white boy before and I didn't know how you and Dad would feel about that. Well, I never dated anyone who was not black and never was it something that I desired. But it wasn't that I was against interracial relationships, I just didn't want to date anyone outside of my race. God made us all and who you choose to love should never be based on skin color. But mom, can you and dad accept Sammy as part of the family? Sure we can accept Sammy Victoria, he seems like a nice boy. I've seen him around school a couple of times and he was always respectful to me. Yeah, he's a gentleman and he's very handsome mom kind and gentle with a beautiful smile. I'm happy for you, your dad will be working late at the hospital tonight. I'm not going to tell him. I'm going to let you break the news to him. Thanks mom. I pray dad will understand and not be mad with me. You know how he feels about me. He's like a bulldog when it comes to his little princess, your dad can be a little too protective. Tell me about it. That's why I feel a little concerned about telling him. Don't let fear stop you, I'm sure your dad will understand. I'm tired I had a long day today. I need a hot shower, I'm not cooking tonight but I can order you some pizza if you want me to. No thanks mom, I'll grab me a ham sandwich for dinner tonight. I have to work on essay for my class tomorrow morning. Are you sure, I can order you a pizza? No thanks. Okay. My shower is calling my name. I'll talk to you in the morning. I have a few students' papers I have to grade before I turn in for tonight. Okay mom, enjoy your shower. That's my plan. Put your hands in the air cause he cares Put your hands in the air cause he's there 